Well, how's it going, everybody, and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. This here is the Underwater Series, one of y'all's favorite series that I make here on the channel, and definitely one of my favorites to film. I love being able to capture the beauty of, of bass underwater in their spawning habitat and being able to teach you guys the things that I learn through watching this footage that allows me to catch more fish, and hopefully you guys learn things as well. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, but we're going to hop right into the content here. So today's topic is going to be about the hardest situation when it comes to bed fishing, the hardest time it is to catch a bass on a bed. You know, bed fishing is definitely not an easy uh, tactic to do. Of course, once you get proficient at it, it can be easier than it was when you first started. But it is definitely a hard tactic, and this right here is the hardest situation. And so what you see is two bass. You see a male on the right who's usually a smaller bass, and the female is going to be the larger. That's just the way that bass genetics works. And you can look down there on the bed, and I actually did not see this when I was fishing above the water, but now that I have the camera beneath the water, I was able to see the female has already laid most of her eggs. As you can see, those little tiny yellow dots look like little ants down there on the bottom of the white swept away bottom of the lake. That there is, is the bed where the fish are mating. And as you can see there, the fish, the, the male bass just kind of, well, I don't know, moved his body back and forth. And that was him depositing his part of the mating, um, you know, situation. She, she dropped the eggs. He drops, I think it's, I don't know if it's fish sperm or what, whatever it is. But that's what the fish was just doing. And so this situation here, while you may look into the water and see these two fish on a bed and say, oh my, they're paired up. Those fish are not leaving. Obviously, I put a camera down there, so they're not uh, too intimidated. You may think to yourself, this is an awesome situation that I'm going to catch these fish. And actually, we're going to pause this video right here before we hop into it. And as you can see right here, there are tons of, I don't know what these are. They're tilapia, they're crappie, they're cichlids, something like that. I think they're, I think they're huge tilapia. And so oh, this video is going to be what's looking like an aquarium. This here is actually a public stretch of river, but it is so beautiful. The water is actually that clear and that blue. Uh, and so as you can see here, we have a whole, I don't even know what to, what to call these things, a whole school of, of fish that are swimming by. You're going to see other bass. You're going to see other fish species. So uh, just take all this in. It's definitely a, uh, a cool experience. So we're going to con continue and press the, uh, the play button. Let all those tilapia and I guess one bass mixed in with those swim by. And kind of hop back into the content. So as you can see, the, the female bass is still dropping a few eggs. So she's still kind of moving her body, moving her tail. And that is the process of her getting all of the eggs out of her and onto the ground so that they can, you know, incubate and turn into many, many more bass. And so I'm going to attempt to catch one of these fish. So the first lure that I'm going to try is an invasive lure. It is a swim bait. It is big. As you can see there, I get stuck on a rock. Uh, and the male definitely shows a bit of aggression. But... I'm going to talk about in this video why it's so hard to catch these fish and what I've noticed, especially when they are in this exact mindset right here. So I had cast my swim bed in there. As you can see, I'm swimming it in and uh, letting it fall right on the bed. And the fish don't really react all that much. And you'll see throughout this video, as you see that the male's kind of pumping his tail. He wants to get back to spawning. And I just want to catch these fish. That's exactly what I'm here for. And just like that, the fish does react in a small way, but he only reacts, let's see your instant replay, boom, he hits it, but he doesn't actually attempt to eat it. And so if you know much about spawn fishing, the fish in the spawn are of course not focused on eating, they're focused on protecting uh, their nest. But I found in many situations a fish will actually um, bite a lure and keep it in its mouth for a long period of time, and so I think fish, in a sense, still care about um, some kind of, of, of food source, whether or not they're actually going to swallow it. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of bed fish tend to, uh, you know, put a lure in their mouth and keep it there, but this fish here has wants nothing to do with that. You see the swim bait goes into the bed. It even gets all up in the area where the eggs are, and the male, as you'll see throughout the video, cares a little bit, but the female could not care less. And so I have a few hypotheses for, for why this is, but the main one that I'm going to flesh out is because these fish are, I, I don't exactly know what to call it, but they are in the middle of a mating high. So... They have just laid the eggs. The female is probably still in the process of it. The male is currently laying down his sperm. And these fish don't really notice a whole lot of what's going on. And if they do, uh, they don't really care. And so as you can see, my swim bait went in. The male kind of took notice. 
didn't really care, you know, and many other times during the spawn, either the male or the female is going to be aggressive in some way, whether it's before they lay the eggs and they're kind of getting committed to that nesting area, or they have laid their eggs and they're now starting to be very, very protective, as you'll see in some of my later videos uh, this spring, in that the fish will just eat it every single cast. But you're going to stumble upon a situation when you're bed fishing, when you're going to find this right here. The fish are paired up. You're going to think they're so easy to catch. But no matter what you throw in there, if any reaction happens, it will be the male bass, not the female. And he just will not eat it. He'll bump it. He'll mouth it, which means he'll kind of open his mouth to it, maybe flash his gills at it. But the fish will not eat. So we're going to continue to look at some footage here in the next few minutes, showing you guys that no matter what techniques I tried, these fish just weren't having it. And so I drop in my next lure to try, because the swim bait didn't work, and that is the Outcast Tackle Weedless Ned Rig with the Strike King um, Rage Ned, I think it's the Ned uh, Cutter Worm. And boom, I, I, I drop it in there, and it hits the fish in the head, and he still doesn't eat it. I hop it in the, the area where the eggs are, and he still doesn't eat it. So I drop it in there again. And all of a sudden, just like that, the male does show a little bit of aggression. And that's one thing that you can apply to bed fishing, not just during this situation uh, of the spawn, but in any situations of, of bed fishing, is that sometimes you're going to have a fish that is uh, not active, not aggressive whatsoever, and all of a sudden, even off the bed, your, your lure is going to be off the bed, that fish shows some crazy aggression and eats it, and that is your one chance to catch it. So this time, that wasn't my chance. The fish showed aggression uh, and pushed the female out of the way, but it definitely was not uh, enough aggression to eat it. But I drop it in there again, and right there is the classic thing I'm talking about in this situation. Let's show an instant replay real quick here, a little slow motion replay. I hop my net rig in there. And the fish is obviously irritated, it eats it, but spits it back out. So this fish wants nothing to do with having the lure in his mouth. It just wants to get it out of here. You know, many times in the spawn, as I talked about, the fish will, will eat it, and they'll kind of swim away slowly with, out of the bed with the lure in their mouth fully, and that's a great way to catch them. But as you can see, especially the female bass, I'm hopping it right in front of her face, and she doesn't want anything to do with it. So the next lure that I'm going to try is a finesse jig. You know, I think a finesse jig is a great little bluegill imitator. And I hop it in there, and you'll see a bass come in from that right side. A bass that's not part of this bed and shows interest in the finesse jig, and my male bass that I'm working on has to chase it away. So I thought that was pretty interesting that obviously one bass was interested in the finesse jig, but the two ones that were spawning were not. And so... It's just in this situation, just like you can see there, the, the, the male bass is still shaking his body, still doing the spawning activity, and uh, it is almost impossible to get this fish, if it does bite, to actually eat it where the hook is in the mouth where you can catch this fish. And so one little last ditch effort that I always throw on a bed, um, especially for largemouth is my last ditch effort, is a little tiny white outcast tackle hair jig. And as you can see, the male was a little bit uh, agitated there by it, but still, I've had many, many times when a fish won't eat anything, and as soon as the little hair jig gets in there, they cannot resist it, and they eat it. And as you can see, he ate it, but did not actually intend to swallow it. Boom. Just a little slow motion replay there. He eats it, spits it out. Doesn't even get the hook. Just gets the hair, doesn't even get the hook. So at this point, kind of getting frustrated. Definitely going to try a few more casts with the hair jig, but uh, it's just not working. This is, like I mentioned, one of those times that I'm not trying to discourage you guys. You know, bed fishing is awesome, and, it, and it's a very, very fun way to catch fish, but this fish just won't eat it. The female won't eat it. The male won't eat it, no matter if you drag it through the eggs. And as you can see there, that same exact bass came in there to look at the, uh, at, at the hair jig because he was interested, and my male bass had to scare him off. So... Definitely some awesome footage to look at, but this is the hardest situation to catch a bass. Most of the time, you know, I, I, I had a, uh, a huge bass on my home lake years ago that would charge my lure every single time no matter what I threw in, but I didn't have my camera with me. So I waited for my dad to bring me my camera from the house because I was just kind of coming back from running some errands and saw this bed fish. And by the time my dad got to the marina with the camera, the fish had paired up, the, the big, big female, probably a 10-pounder, had paired up and had started this mating, dropping eggs process, and the fish flipped a switch. And after that, it would not bite. 
And so you have to take advantage in these situations both before and after. But honestly, when these bass are, are mating and doing their thing, sometimes it's best to just watch. It's best to watch them do their thing. Uh, and so that's what I'm gonna let you guys do for the rest of this video. You know, the last minute or so, I'm just gonna show some footage of these bass, no lures in the frame, these bass just doing their thing, which is, which is spawning, which is making new generations of bass. Um, and so thank you guys so much for watching. It is a pleasure to be able to teach you guys about bed fishing, uh, which is my favorite thing to do. And I love getting this type of footage. So thank you all for watching. And we'll see you all next time with even more amazing underwater footage on TRF. Thank you.